Good evening. I'm Dennis Waltering in for Mike Haas. And I'm Lucy Bustamante. New questions are being raised tonight about the use of government-owned computers at the Army Corps of Engineers offices in New Orleans. As you'll see in this Four Investigates follow-up, critics allege that taxpayer resources are being used to obscure the facts of what caused the flooding after Katrina and to conduct a systematic attack on people who criticize the Corps. New evidence that government-owned computers at the Army Corps of Engineers office here in New Orleans are being used to verbally attack critics of the Corps comes in an affidavit from the former editor-in-chief of NOLA.com. John Donnelly, who was laid off this past February, tells us via satellite from Texas, in late 2006, he started noticing people presenting themselves as ordinary citizens, defending the Corps very energetically. What stuck out, though, was the wording of the uh, comments was in many ways mirroring news releases from the Corps of Engineers. This past December, Eyewitness News reported that Levies.org founder Sandy Rosenthal found a recurring theme in attacks against her and her supporters on her internet blogs. And that message is that the locals blocked the cause wishes and and thus that the locals are responsible for the flooding someone with the username overwrought wrote sure blame the core for the flood wall failures but who do you blame for your own stupidity for putting your families in such a situation and with the screen name Steve O'Nolan, someone wrote on November 18th, quote, You have chosen core bashing to persuade enough underinformed people that Katrina was a federal flood. Then the rest of the nation will pour even more money into the sinkhole of New Orleans. These commenters uh, tried to discredit uh, these people. And when Rosenthal investigated, she discovered the comments were coming from users at the Internet provider address of the Army Corps of Engineers offices here in New Orleans. She blamed the Corps for a strategy of going after critics. In the process of, of, of trying to obscure the facts of the New Orleans floodings, one of their tactics was just verbal abuse. The Corps denied any such strategy, saying this isolated incident involved one person out of 1,600 people that make up the New Orleans district. At NOLA.com, John Donnelly noticed some of the users blasting core critics became verbally abusive. And they would go out of their way to target particular users who uh, maybe did a better job in criticizing the core. And Donnelly said he also noticed these users who attacked core critics were using Army Corps equipment. He made a spreadsheet of the activity over six weeks at the end of December and the beginning of January. Uh, during that six-week period, there were nearly 700 comments from core IPs the same group of people that I've been watching for over two years. So this was not an isolated incident. The Center for Media and Democracy, which focuses on public relations tactics, says if this is a strategy, it is not uncommon. In the PR world, it's known as the third party tactic, and there, there have been a lot of sort of similar deceptive uh, online communications that, that use that. But the Army Corps denies any strategy or policy like that at all. Get that. This is not some plan where, you know, where we would go out and ask employees to do this. No. Ken Holder says employees are allowed to use computers this to read not, blogs and make comments employees. during their breaks. You certainly don't check your citizenship rights at the door. Even using taxpayer funded equipment. You would be able to use, as I mentioned earlier, you would be able to use your computer during the break times that you had. But he says core employees are not allowed to make abusive comments of any kind. Ken Holder says he will gladly look into the allegations further to see if people at the core have violated ethics regulations.